Hey guys, I'm Nitesh and welcome to Web Dev Series by IST. Today we are heading with CSS. Okay, <clears throat> so today we are going to see some CSS property and then web page layout and then HTML forms. Cool, let's bring in. So first of all, the first CSS property that we are going to talk about is opacity. So it's clear from name uh, that uh, opacity property tells how much opaque the element should be. Like if we set the opacity equals 1, then it will be 100% opaque. If we set opacity equals 0, then it will be transparent. And in between those values, uh, we'll have some value of transparency. So let's go to our first web page. <laughs> Yeah, you can see this is our web page here. It's written IST CSS tutorial. This is our header. So we will first apply opacity here only. Let's go to the style.css. Okay. Okay. Now here is header. Let's go to the header. Yeah. So here the opacity value is set to 0 0.5. We will set it 0. So see the effect. Uh, I'm going to save it and yeah refresh it yeah you can see that it's invisible right so the header has completely become transparent that means zero percent opaque okay now let's set the value equals one yeah so yeah you can see it's hundred percent opaque we cannot see through them it has no transparency this is the default value of opacity if you don't put anything and it is used for styling <clears throat> okay now we'll see align items okay so we have put align items uh like align items have value like center or you can set it none you better know it if it has align items set to center that means the element will uh, will be aligned on the web page to the center or it can have other values as to like initial or inherit okay yeah so it value was center yeah apart from that uh, align items like align okay yeah now let's go to now let's go to the css layout yeah so any web page has the following four uh four main uh, components the first component is header which is mostly about the title uh and, and it's not the title it's uh, it's like the name of your web page or maybe anything that characteristic your web page and then we have a navigation bar that is navigation section you may uh, like to style it uh, in your own way so it does have like links and navigation to the other content of your web page then we have the content area where main content is there and there is at last footer which has copyright and some slogan or quote or you say the contact details you might have here so these are the four important components of a css i mean web page uh yeah so the header we have header 
HTML tag, you can just customize it using CSS, right? Like we put it here, the font family, the color, text align, opacity, anything that you want to change, like font size or anything. Then we have navigation. You can put it like in many ways that is possible. So I have put it here, the navigation tag, and inside that I have defined uh, uh, hyperlinks, right? So you can do it in your own way. Uh, uh, however you like you know whatever way you like it like you can even have it in unlisted or ordered listed form uh, then we have content and there is at last footer element and then you can write some content in style with uh, your css like for footer we also have done like text align center because it wasn't center color was something position and bottom was fixed like you can see like this has to be set in the middle so a right it must be equal to 50 percent bottom should be zero percent position should be absolute so that it should be in the bottom right these are the things uh now we'll talk about html forms uh we have put here a form uh there is a html form tag inside form tag we have put some input input is a tag and type specifies which kind of input you want text numeric or date right placeholder is the dummy value that you want to show in your <clears throat> uh, input field you can style them in css like i have put here in input background color width height on hovering what it will happen right so you can have it okay we'll see here so you can see here it's you can give any value right uh, you can even choose date yeah so it's today yeah these are the things so that's pretty much about it thank you guys thanks for watching the video